when all this stuff happens, you again are caught between it and you need to choose what am I going to get on board with. And if you, of course, decide I'll become a radical capitalist, you probably would have get sucked up into a position of immense power. And you might have even be sitting on top of this family legacy, this family business, you know, the, the Rockefeller name or something like that. And you would be looking out towards the future and have this potential to really establish a, a sort of a kingdom like the way that the Germans would have back at the change of Rome. They, they would have been able to look big and look at that perspective. They're seated well for the new iron, like the farmer who overcame the jungle people. Um, now, likewise, if you decided to be a priest, like if you decided to stay in the jungle, like if you decided to do Roman paganism, you would have got you would have lost. You would have been out of touch with the time. You would have been not adapting to what's going on. And so you would have get, got held behind. And that's a very, very dangerous and tragic thing because then you get subsumed. You get you get put under the boot of this this new innovator in some sense this new ion this new era and so this is a, this is a very very conscience pulling apart challenge like do i go for lucifer or jesus do i go back to jesus or do i go back, go forward with lucifer because if you start to think about this stuff really think about it everything that the the enlightenment luciferian attitude is talking about looks like christ's warning of the revelation idea that something intoxicating and 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 charismatic will come and and suck everybody's minds up into this nonsense bullshit and false promises and in the end it will turn into finally some type of horrific entity that will come down and oppress everybody absolutely and you're kind of wondering oh my god is that is that what lucifer is and it's like if you i've told like remember i'll i will tell you this very very i don't say much i'll say this very straightforward don't go with lucifer reject him and you're like okay jesus yeah definitely yeah but then when lucifer shows up he's got all this cool stuff he's got all like you know the phone and stuff like that and you're like ah <laughs> ah but jesus you know could i have it could, could i just go with lucifer though could i just like you know i'll hedge me bets you know i'll split me bitcoin into into various different assets i'll just i'll go with lucifer a little bit like i'm not gonna go for them fully like but i'll just test them out is that all right and then Lucifer says, if you stay with Christ, you can't come with me. And you're like, oh, fuck, Lucifer, what are you doing? And Christ says, if you go to Lucifer, you can't come with me. It's like it's like your mom and your dad breaking up and they're like pulling you apart. You're like, oh, what the, well, who do I do? What do I go for? I just want to, I just want to make cool stuff. I don't want to be on Twitter talking about politics. I just want a stabilized ion so I can make cool stuff. What do I do? Help me, help me someone, help me, Jesus, help me, Lucifer. I don't know. And this is where this is where we're we're kind of shoved into the problem here because in some sense Lucifer is more dehumanizing. Lucifer puts you in a position of there's more upside. You could become a master of the world, but at the same time, if you're wrong, you might be stuck inside the city. Like all those people who flocked into the city when the industrial revolution happened, they thought they'd be capitalist kings, and they ended up with um, broken thumbs, shoving shoving down chimneys, or stuck in mines or something like that. And so, what's what's the right direction to go here and on top of all that the the people who are ascending and are winning they are not wasting their time talking about oh what do i do all this type of thing they're actually thinking really big term and long uh, big perspective and if you want to uh, understand this i'd recommend you check out nietzsche because nietzsche is almost like the coach for the, the 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 rising 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 sort of new royals or something like this he speaks in this type of way and he actually comments on this enlightenment he comments on this this movement this new woke movement that shows up because a lot of people didn't see it as a great thing the french revolution was quite mean it killed a lot of kings and it was kind of you know just like pulled them out and cut their heads off and all this it was like whoa that was pretty that was pretty harsh why did you do that now suddenly we're in an era of massive political instability and we can't really focus on you know stuff like beethoven can we? well maybe you could do beethoven but you can't do you know the long protracted energy of um deep renaissance work you can't do that anymore because everybody's obsessed with um like politics they're on they're on the proto twitter which is this early coffee shops and whatnot so what, what do we do about all this type of stuff they, they they've woken up they know they know we must put it we must shut them down and stop it from all happening we must put them back in their box put them back in the church shut up shut up you idiot go be quiet don't don't be rebelling it's no good and so nietzsche talks about this in, in a very this is a chilling passage Nietzsche says that the equalizing of the European is a process that cannot be stopped, and so it must be accelerated. The necessity of creating a new hierarchy is therefore essential. Trying to halt this process is futile. 
This homogenized mass will need a purpose once it has been created, and that purpose will be to serve the new masters. These masters won't just rule, but will exist in their own sphere of life with an overflowing of beauty, energy and bravery, strong enough to have no need for social engineering, rich enough to have no need for economy, a people beyond good and evil. And so Nietzsche saw this problem, the changing of ions. He saw it very early. He, he was sort of sitting there and seeing that, all right, this new ion, this new way of doing things, it's like the farming, you know. There's this radical weird thing where people start, you know, pouring seeds into the ground or people start talking about radical equality and innovation and technology. And this opens up chaos. This introduces chaos into the mix, opens up society to massive chaos. And this is going to pull society apart. It's going to pull the hierarchies down. It's going to pull the, the, the stability of the ruling people down. It's going to pull the priesthood down. All knowledge will be open to random questions. All God will be questioned. Everything will be questioned. Everything will go into absolute madness and chaos. And out of that madness, something, eventually the pattern will return. The archetype will return. The archetype type of the hierarchy it has to return these things have to happen and so what will happen is this will all consolidate again and what we'll have is we'll have a new hierarchy but only this hierarchy will be different and so Nietzsche's in favor of hierarchies he's like all right well this is good when Rome collapsed it was chaos for a while the dark ages but out of that emerged the hierarchy of the the, the European aristocracy and they provided the stability to create the, the the rising of Europe and this is provided the stability of someone like Beethoven someone exceptional like Beethoven to to stand around and present to release his will at the absolute apex of his his time the apex of almost thousands of years of work if you think about it and for example some guy in the dark ages who wanted to create bring out of his genius imagination what Beethoven had in his imagination he couldn't have done it he'd only have a couple of boyos like that he can kind of hang out with but he wouldn't have been able to organize a supreme orchestra and, and do all that work these things take huge amounts of stability and order even centuries long they have to be prepared for and, and they have to be put into place in that regard and so Nietzsche's looking for something like that because right now is anything like that going to come I doubt it everybody you know look at pop music pop music is slowly starting to homogenize into the same four chords the same four beats and that's not going to create like i don't see the symphony a symphony coming out of that anytime soon and so this is just going to keep going keep going keep going until it reaches its peak well it's basically just like everything is just like one homogenized blob and out of that you have essentially a new peasant class a new set of people who are uh, in some sense completely subsumed by that 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 way of thinking and then Nietzsche is saying well there will be there'll have to be a sort of new class on top of that there'll be like maybe Jeff Bezos you know this is like coaching for Jeff Bezos there'll be like Jeff Bezos sitting on top of that and what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to prepare for that moment and he's just going to have to try put things in place that he can offer these people like the church offered these people a sort of deal and sort of say to them, all right, well, here's how things are going to work going forward. This period of history, this changing of ions, it's over now. You know, the, the farming question, it's like, well, the farming question, I learned to farm and you didn't. And even if you start now, you're not going to catch up with me. So you may as well just accept and come onto my farm and I'll treat you well on my farm because you'll end up on someone else's farm. All right. So you come to my farm. I'll treat you well, but you'll still be my slave, but I'll treat you well. That's just how it's going to work. All right. You can take it or leave it if you want. This is how the game's going to work.